Hi, my name is Kyle DuPont, and I'm going to give you the latest updates to the Data X-Ray Calibra integration. As you know, the Data X-Ray is the best way to get unstructured data into Calibra. We support all types of unstructured data sources from OneDrives to Google Drive, Box, Network Drives, Azure Cloud, and more. What I'm going to show to you today is a few things around what we've done to update and make the Calibra integration even better uh, to serve our customers. The first thing I wanted to show you is our new Surface Account uh, global settings where you allow the where the admin can manage the Calibra integration from a global viewpoint. So we have buttons here to toggle on and off the Calibra integration itself uh, and have the admin have complete control over how that works. Under each data source, now there are controls for whether or not the data source is integrated to Calibra or not. So we'll go ahead and integrate a data source into the data x-ray. As you can see, there's a full menu of data sources here. Uh, to see our full list of supported data sources, you can go to docs.ohalo.co. We'll go ahead and integrate a network drive that's just a demo drive. And we can go ahead and start the data x-ray to see what's in it. Um, and we'll refresh that status. And we see that we have some files that we're um, currently scanning through. So there's uh, only 43 files in this particular data source, so it's very small. Uh, but we can see useful metadata within the data x-ray that we might want to see in Calibra so that we can understand whether or not this data might be relevant for users or data owners within the data x-ray and really to make their lives easier when populating the Calibra platform with uh, unstructured data that might be in uh, folders like this. Now, to integrate this into Calibra, it's really simple now. All you have to do is go to the advanced section, scroll down to the bottom, and you see this new Calibra section here uh, that allows you to get the sync status and as well as toggle on and off the Calibra integration. Before I click that button, I'm going to just point you into a, the Calibra integration uh, here uh, where there's a new community setup called Data X-Ray Integration that whenever you click that uh, this button here, we set up a new uh, domain for each individual data source with its uh, human readable name plus its uh, Data X-Ray ID here. So we can see this one is 1055, uh, and it's called uh, Example Network Drive. Yeah. And then we'll go to Begin Processing. Say yes, we want to begin processing. And we'll scan through the data source now uh, and push that data into Calibra. So for refreshing it, we have 43 total files with 10 that are scanned so far and, and pushed into Calibra. So if I go back into Calibra and click Refresh, I should see my new 1055 example network drive here that I can click into. I can go to hierarchy, do enable multipath hierarchy, and you can see that our uh, directory structure is now uh, maintained as well. So you can say directory contains directory, and directory contains file. And now we can maintain that structure um, so that we can assign uh, different variables to each of these uh, technology uh, assets. So we can say, you know, if documents is being used by legal across two different jurisdictions, we know, you know, these files underneath this folder are being used by those jurisdictions um, and, and put correct controls or governance around that. Um, for instance, if we want to look into a data project and we see that there is an XLS file here, we can pull back the data and we know when the date was modified. We have the categories of special personal data, non-sensitive personal data, as well as the annotations of what we think is in those files. If we're interested in maintaining this as a, uh, a data asset within Calibra, we can say um, useful for our internal wiki or whatever it is. Go ahead and approve that. And now we've just really easily added unstructured data into Calibra um, without requiring the data owner to go through the files and figure out what's in them. So I hope you're ex excited about this as we are. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at sales, A-S-A-L-E-S, -E at ohalo, O-H-A-L-O dot C-O.